On the other hand, South Africa has uh, been relying on other countries for COVID-19 vaccines. However, are we prepared to develop and produce vaccines on a large scale? Now, this critical issue was considered by a panel of experts during a webinar hosted by the South African Health Technologies Advocacy Collision, as well as partners on Thursday. Well, the organization's John Nkluli joins me now to unpack some of the issues that were discussed. Ms. Nkluli, thank you for your time and good morning to you. Now, I'm keen to know what actually prompted uh, this particular discussion at the webinar. Okay, Tumelo, thank you very much for having me. Um, maybe firstly, Tumelo, let us, let, let us start um, by looking at what we know. Um, it is very important to note that um, South Africa need uh, approximately 67% of 40 million South Africans to be vaccinated in order to achieve the herd immunity or the population level immunity. And the national COVID-19 uh, vaccine rollout in South Africa started on the 17th of February with the pres President Cyril Ramaphosa being amongst the people to receive the Johnson & Johnson uh, vaccine in Cape Town uh, in Kailifa. And it's been almost uh, three months since the first vaccination um, occurred in South Africa. Mm. And to date, South Africa has uh, vaccinated close to 600,000 South, South Africans. And if you look at, at, at these numbers, Tumelo, in accordance to the overall population, this simply means that we have only vaccinated 1% of the total uh, population. Yeah. There are still 66 South Africans who need to be vaccinated. And another important point, again, is that 99% of all the vaccines that are distributed in Africa they are not actually manufactured in, in, in Africa, but they are uh, manufactured from the third world country. Right. And really, yesterday, um, having this discussion, we wanted to see what are the available options. Mm -hmm. And one of the options is really to answer the question if South Africa is re really ready to manufacture its last scale. Vaccine. And if I could just come in there, let's talk about then, you know, the importance of capacity as well as infrastructure, uh, you know, to develop as well as produce these vaccines. How important is it? But also, I mean, how significant would then this be, not only for South Africa, but also for the entire African continent? Very important, you know. Firstly, I mean, to have a national rollout like the COVID-19 um, vaccine rollout, there are factors that need to be taken into consideration. And these factors include responding to the demands for vaccine. We're looking at equitable access. We're looking at procurement and distribution mechanisms. We're looking at vaccines size as a whole, including human resource. So you need to have this infrastructure well established. And it is therefore important at Melo for South Africa to assess its readiness in terms of infrastructure mm. and resources to respond to this demand and also looking at how responsive our infrastructure is and how sustainable it is over time. But I suppose, Mr. Mkulu, we can't ignore some of the challenges and hurdles along the way that almost make it impossible to get to our goal, at least timelessly. Uh, take me through some of those challenges, particularly also when we look at funding here, for instance. Yes. So in, in terms of funding, really, uh, from the webinar, what came in yesterday, which we really needed to acknowledge and applaud our government for, uh, and this was um, presented by Ms. Uh, Claudina Lord. She did indicate uh, the political will from the government point of view to really invest in, in uh, vaccine manufacturing and, and production. And she went further to make an example about how they are working together with institutions such as University of Cape Town and West University to really support the large-scale vaccine manufacturing. However, the uh, reality is uh, what has been invested today is not enough to respond to the vaccine demand that have been shown. So, uh, to be honest uh, with you, Tumelo, uh, more funding is needed. We really need to capitalize on this, uh, South African political willingness to respond to this demand. And also, we need to start mobilizing resources through, right. um, by using models such as private-public partnership 
where they, we can motivate or where we can mobilize the, the industry to also equally contribute working together with the government. Mr. John Tuli, this will leave a conversation, but thank you so much for joining us. South African Health Technologies Advocacy Coalition Secretariat Lead, Mr. John Mluli.